Tomorrow marks one year since Congressman John Lewis passed away, and even though his congressional district was in Atlanta, Lewis, of course, was a college student here in Nashville, and he was on a mission for racial justice. Today, the city is honoring Lewis's legacy. News Channel 5's Kelsey Gibbs was there for the dedication. For this marker to represent that legacy for generations to come, we can be more blessed as an it city for justice. Congressman John Lewis's legacy is felt across the country. He was the boy from Troy, Alabama, but he became a giant in Nashville, Tennessee. John Lewis lived here, worked here, marched here, protested here for justice. I am happy for Nashville and the nation. A historic marker was unveiled in downtown Nashville to honor Congressman John Lewis's contributions to Music City. His younger brother and other members of the Lewis family got to see how important John Lewis was and is to Nashville. Really impressed and we're really, really excited about this weekend. And I know the congressman would be so proud. As a college student at American Baptist College and then Fisk University, Lewis fought for racial justice. Lewis and other civil rights activists were involved in the 1960 lunch counter sit-ins in downtown Nashville. They also publicly questioned then Mayor Ben West at the steps of the city courthouse where he agreed it was time to desegregate public places. Today, the streets he once marched down for justice now bear his name. We're just really excited about the whole weekend and the team in the city of Nashville have done a wonderful job with the marker and also the street naming. Last year, the city passed an ordinance to rename Fifth Avenue Rep. John Lewis Way. Lewis passed on July 17, 2020, and even through his death, the push for good trouble continues. I've seen a lot of positive change, not only him, other people that was involved in the same movement, because um, he never wanted in his special recognition. He was so humble. So his main thing was making a difference. Kelsey Gibbs, News Channel 5. The commemoration continues tomorrow with a march, a dedication event on Broadway, and a celebration at the historic Ryman Auditorium.